Now recently I have been working on Kanban boards, even if you've been following the channel and my website and articles, uh, you will be aware of that. And I started out with the one Kanban board and then I decided I, I needed more, so I created four to, as an experiment. But one of the things that I did find was that in reality, life is too overwhelming just to have one Kanban board or one task list to do because we have so many different facets to our life and it can be very difficult and overwhelming to try and manage it from one list. So effectively, I came to the conclusion that one Kanban board is just is too hard. So if you divide your life up into multiple Kanban boards, though, for better organisation, then perhaps we can improve our productivity and improve our organisation and improve our management. So one of the things that I do is to have a daily Kanban where I can focus only on the tasks that I need to accomplish for the day. The daily Kanban starts out as a blank slate. And what I do is that I populate that Kanban, the daily one, from the other Kanbans by bringing cards in to the daily one on the to-do list. As I progress through the day, I move those tasks from the to-do section to in progress or from in progress perhaps to done. Now, sometimes I might hit a brick wall and can't get any further with the task. It's pending or it's stopped. In which case I'll then move it to another task list which I call alt for alternative board which basically signals to me that at the end of the day I need to move that task back to the board from whence it came because I can't do any more. The same thing could happen with tasks that I haven't got to. So on the screen here you can actually see a, a single Kanban board and you can imagine that if it was populated with an enormous number of tasks, I mean that could be quite full you could have all sorts of things in there and it could be quite overwhelming. You may have to scroll down to the right, whatever, depending on the number of tasks that you might have. And it could certainly be difficult to manage. So by breaking them down, you can end up by having four on the screen. So let's see what that looks like for a start. So this is how you could have four on the screen at once. This is a screenshot that I took earlier. But I found that the difficulty was that they were still all mixed together because they were all the one colour. I thought, well, perhaps if I made them different colour backgrounds, then I can just focus on the one at a time. Now, I don't know if you're the same, but I find that the way that that is presented at the moment is just cognitive overload because, yes, there's four different Kanbans, but they've all got the same background. They all look the same, so it's difficult to know where to look at one time. So psychologically, that impacts on me. It may not on you, but on me, it does. So what I thought, well, if I put coloured backgrounds on them, that might be a much better way of doing it. So I created this structure whereby there are four Kanban boards on the screen. However, you can see at a glance which one is which. And because it's colour focused, you tend to focus on the colour that you're working on. So what I'm going to do now is to show you how I achieved that and how you can achieve a similar structure for your Kanban boards should you choose to use multiple ones. So on the screen here now, you can see a single Kanban board. Now I want you to assume for the purpose of the exercise that this is your main Kanban board and there may be more columns than this and the screen may well be full of tasks that you have to do and that you've been managing over a period of time. So what we're going to do is use CSS snippets, a feature of Obsidian, that will allow us to customize the screens and the look and feel of how we're working in Obsidian. Now that involves applying colors to the back of each one. So before we have a look at the CSS, let's just see what happens when we change the color because this one's already been formatted. So if I return its name to main Kanban, it has already got the color attached to it. Now this is a yellow, but you can see on the right here that there is a different shade and the reason for that, just so that you're aware of it, is because there is a 60% opacity applied to this colour because otherwise they tended to be too vivid and there was too much contrast on the screen. So I applied 60% opacity to all of the colours 
and it's it's created this situation here on the right hand side where there's a different color and unfortunately the structure of the css doesn't allow me to get rid of that despite the number of attempts that i have done and if anybody who is watching this knows how to make it all the same color i would love to hear from you so but when we're working with the four kanban boards or more kanban boards on the screen this won't be an issue because they'll be uh, cramped up a lot more okay so now that we've done that let's have a look at our css and we'll pull it up here and the css file that is available it, it identifies each of the file names or the note names in obsidian you'll see there's one two three four now you'll have to change the name in the css file to match the name of your kanbans to match the color that you're applying to the back of it that's all there is to do it's not difficult if you call the css snippet up you just change within the inverted commas change the names and change the colors to whatever you want you can see at the end of here i've got 60 on the end of the hex codes which is indicating that the colors are at 60 percent opacity you can change that also to whatever suits your particular visual requirements so that's our css snippet so let's go back to our main kanban now and i have cheated a little bit because i've pulled the others up in the background there this is where you can choose what you wish to do and how you work. You can just go back and forth between the different Kanbans if you wish, but you won't be able to drag and drop between the different Kanbans unless they're all on the same screen or the two Kanbans that you want to drag and drop between are on the same screen. So in the video yesterday, I showed you how to set up Workspaces with Workspaces Plus, which is this plugin here, community plugin. I'm, I'm not going to go through that again, so if you have a look at the video from the other day uh, about just setting up multiple Kanbans. You'll be able to see how to set up the workspaces. So what we can do here is that we can just shift those Kanbans around. So this one here can be opened to the right. And now we can delete it here. And now we've got the two there. Now the project A, we can just drag down to the bottom here and the reading one we can just drag down to the bottom here and so now we've got our four okay so that's the way you can just shift around your screens or you can open right and split right and split down whatever you want to do but the advantage of having a workspace and i'll just close all of these down now is that you can simply control p for the palette and go to workspaces and load the workspaces 4k which i've got set up which was for four kanbans and there they're straight away on the screen so it's a big time saver so that's why the the workspaces are really worthwhile so now we've got them all on the screen and we can see them there quite easily we can move tasks from uh, the main kanban to the daily kanban this one let's say adding cards this is where to do we could move it to the old board because it hasn't been done and it's hit a roadblock so i can't do any more so that's one that i have to move back to the end of the day i might put this one how ai is changing the future of work and move that up there into the today to do's because i want to read that particular document and then i start reading it so that i can move it to the in progress so i can see what i'm, I'm doing with that at any time so I hope that's given you a bit of an idea of how you can work within the four Kanbans on the screen or two or whatever you might happen to have at the time. Now, the next, the next step, of course, is, well, we don't want four Kanbans on the screen. So the, again, Workspaces comes to the rescue simply by going back to what might be your default workspace. So if we again use Control-P for the control palette and go to Workspaces, we can go to Workspaces plus blank which you could call default. You could have a number of tabs already set up, but in this case, I've just set up a blank one so that I can work away there. I can give the note a name, do a note, and then that's done. And then again, I can go back to my Kanbans and mark it off as being done. Then I can go back again to my workspaces, to my blank one, and do another note. So there's a huge advantage in terms of speed by using workspaces 
in conjunction with can bands. So I hope that's given you a really good bit of a rundown on can bands and how to get colour backgrounds and that type of thing. I think you will find that they offer an enormous amount of flexibility for task management applications and in a very visual format as opposed to straight lists. So until next time, cheers. Cheers.